scheming and uh, figuring out how you we're going to do this. We have possible campaign managers yes. here, but we, right. we need to talk about a race that's happening tomorrow. A real one tomorrow. All right, let's uh, let's put them up. Uh, you may have forgotten because it's summertime and a lot of folks aren't paying attention to politics that there is a Senate primary tomorrow in New Jersey uh, to succeed the late Senator Frank Lautenberg. Now here are the Democrats uh, vying. We know Cory Booker. We know uh, Rush Holt, Frank Pallone. Actually, a lot of people don't. That's the problem for these people. And that is the Speaker of the New Jersey sure. Assembly. Sheila Oliver. On the Republican side, we have these two guys, or a guy and a gal, yes. Steve Lonigan, and that Dr. Eck. Dr. Eck. The primary is tomorrow. The winners will face off in a general election. By the way, not in November, but in October, October which is 16th. Well, because Big it's day. a special election. That's right. Very All right, special. We have our analysts with us, Steve Adubato and Basil Smichel. Nice to have you both Great back on Good Day New York. All right, so tomorrow, Big Day primary. What are we hearing? Uh, nothing. Uh, no, no, are people no. excited? Do you think there'll uh, be big turnout tomorrow? There'll be an incredibly low turnout. This could be the lowest turnout in the history of New Why? Jersey politics. Well, because there August. wasn't supposed to be an not, election. It's not November. Because it's, it's bigger at the Jersey Shore. Uh, people want to party in the summer. They want to enjoy themselves. And elections are not supposed to be held in the middle of August. But that's what happened. I mean, people did not expect Frank Lautenberg to die when and how he did. And so there's a special election. That's what Governor Christie said, and that's what's going to happen. Yeah, well, this is going exactly to Governor Christie's plan. This is what he wanted. He didn't want anybody to pay attention to this race. He wants it to be all about him this, uh, this fall. And he came up with this bizarre schedule. Basil, I characterize it as bizarre. Uh, How do you characterize it's it? It's brilliant. Brilliant? If I'm Chris Christie, why do I want all those Democrats coming out against me on Election Day? They already have a, uh, a registration advantage in the state. So why bring out all those Democrats against you? You do it in the summer when nobody's paying attention, and, and Corey will probably win anyway. So what does it matter? It's, yeah, plus, the court said it was okay, Rosanna yeah, Greg. Right. The court, court said it was okay, but you know what? It's expensive. It's going to cost millions of dollars to do it this way. He's supposed to be a fiscal conservative. He is. <laughs> They're going to have a primary in September. They're going to have an election in November. Why not just oh, meld the two? Wait, wait, hold on. I, many people will agree with you, but some will also say, look, Chris Christie gave the Democrats and the Republicans an opportunity to elect who they want. Looks like a Democrat's going to get elected. Corey, if Corey gave Booker, them an opportunity, look, I mean, they, 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 he doesn't have to give them that opportunity. The it's if, their opportunity. If Cory Booker gets Republicans are angry at Chris Christie because if, in fact, they had an opportunity to run with him in November and a Republican mm. had a better chance to get elected to the U.S. Senate, then the Democrats would have gotten the shaft. So either way, people are going to be angry this at him. This is pure political strategy. This is this is what politicians do. They they eke out imagine? these little these opportunities to help. It's not up. as overt. Sometimes you, well, you, they act politically, but this is raw politics, and we can all see it, and we can see it for what it is. It's, it's beautifully Machiavellian, don't you think? It is Machiavellian. <laughs> right, let's, Machiavellian. Talk about, <laughs> let's talk about the polls because they, they are saying Mayor Booker is going to walk away with it. But meanwhile, there's been a lot of negative reports out there about Mayor Booker, about his internet company, yep. about Wait, Wire. Law firm. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this, Steve. Well, you know, here's the thing. I say this is ABC, all about Corey. And that's what happens when you are 30, 40 points ahead in the polls. Right, Basil? Right. Because these other candidates running for the center, there's not much talk about them. But here's the problem for Cory Booker. When you're out there ahead, when you invest in a company like Waywire, when you have stock in a company like Waywire, when you have people with big money who invest in it with you, and not a lot of people know about it, even though Cory Booker Yeah, we never heard about this internet company. Here's the problem that I see. Cory Booker technically, I did, I think, did the things he was supposed to do by disclosing his involvement, but not a lot of people knew about it. We weren't reporting a lot on it, and then filed an extension, not an extension, but an additional, additional information about his involvement with Waywire. So then the Post reports of New York Post, other people report on it. It seems new. It, it seems new. Right? And it's right? embarrassing. And yeah. I, here's my advice to him. Yeah. Disclose everything now. Hold a press conference. Get it out of the way. It's about your future national reputation, Cory Booker. Did Basil, he do it, it seems to me that uh, nobody knows yeah. if he did anything wrong. Probably did yeah, not. Probably he's a smart not. guy. Yeah. He's, it looks like he's following the letter of the law here. But Basil, this company seems a little flimsy. I, it's hard, you know, a YouTube channel for kids. It, it's, no, it, it's not the yeah, kind yeah. of idea that should make somebody a multimillionaire. And apparently, that was a strategy here to make Cory Booker rich, according to his uh, Silicon Valley friends. Yeah, and, you know, the, 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 all the conversation you talk about uh, uh, what's happening in the media and all these folks coming into Newark, we, there's that Facebook money that came in um, some years money. ago. Hundred million, uh, million, million dollars. Has that been um, used yet? Uh, not, not really, but they also had, a, they had to match that, so $200 million Private total. Money. So the the issue is that there's there just a, there's a lot of attention by a lot of these individuals, these internet startups, uh, uh, 
in Newark right now. And I, I don't know what their ultimate sort of plan was, but the reality is I don't think they ever really wanted to talk about this for another year or so. I think the fact that Lautenberg passed away How dare uh, so soon <laughs> right. uh, before well, expectations is why a lot of this... A lot of people right who, who think, we think that the mayor of Newark, it's a full-time job. You, that you should not You should not have a internet so. company on the side. Uh, how, but here, and well, the law firm, right? Here's, the, the, here's the thing. When I, when I say how dare you, I, I, what I meant by that was nobody expected Frank Lautenberg to pass away as soon as he did. Well, the fact is he's around 90. He was around 90. Cory Booker wanted that Senate seat. Here's my view of it. When you have a situation where there's your private money involved, you have an investment involved, you're talking about the law firm situation, the Trenk, T-R-E-N-K, I believe it is, the Trenk law firm, which was disclosed that Cory Booker, there was a settlement there. Here's my attitude. When you were going to run for the United States Senate, the first seat to open in years in New Jersey, my view is you disclose everything. You get it out of the way. He wanted to talk about it next year, Basil, because he thought that's when the seat was going to be open. Well, but he's my talking, argument he is you talking get it, about it now. You've got to get it all out of and the way. I, I Cory Booker will. should I do that because will. he's a national figure. I think that he and Chris Christie have figured out how to be two giant figures in New Jersey to peacefully well, coexist. He's talking about it now. He's talking about it now, and it's getting out there. And the reality is he's going to win, and he'll win the general election or the, 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 the special election. So I think, I think he'll be fine. And, and again, I don't think this is so egregious. This is within the law. So. I don't think it's primary egregious. day is tomorrow. I think it's got to be done. Primary day is tomorrow. Our election, if we get on the ballot, will right. be in November. Hey, you're doing this. We're thinking. Yeah. Well, are you guys yes. available? You both we are, have we are disclosing are everything. Well, they're not disclosing don't everything. On the, don't make, listen, why don't we no, negotiate we're off we'll the air? We'll do it off the air. Basil, as, as frivolous as it sounds. It doesn't sound frivolous. And, and it is. <laughs> <laughs> we have the... We have the... Uh, you have, we have petitions. That's we have the petitions. Standard. We need 3,750, yeah. and then that's it. Then that's we're right. on the ballot, right? That's right. Yes. That's right. Who do you think should get top billing, Oh, don't be ridiculous. How could you even ask that? Listen, if I were you, I would get on her coattails. Now it would be the smart move. Lisa Bursa, you haven't watched this show but in the you past haven't couple decided years. what office you're running for. Steve, Basil, thank you so much. You guys are great. Thanks, I guys. appreciate that.